with much cooler weather on its way, warming shelters will soon be opening their doors. The homeless population makes up a large group that actually uses those shelters. Wednesday marked National Homeless Persons Remembrance Day. It's a night and it's a time of year, as Fox Force Calvin Lewis shows us, that can really be difficult for the less fortunate. These are people that are lost in our community, and unless we honor them, nobody else nobody will. will. It's a night of honoring those who have passed in the homeless community. It stays fairly consistent each year. We lose about between 20 and 25 people every year. As candles are lit and names are read aloud in their remembrance. It's very sad that people have to be alone and, and maybe not warm or, or no place to go to, nobody that loves them. Um, and how fortunate I am and the life that I live um, compared to what they've been through. It's also shedding a light on a growing issue in the area. There are an awful lot of people this year that are not going to be where they would have liked to have been. Where that would be is in a home or even for some, a public warming shelter. Certainly there is a significant number of the homeless population that's new to our area within the last 12 months. Ray Stedman is with St. Matthew's House, where such preparations are being made. When you look at the temperatures that we're about to see, um, I would expect that we're going to see a significant number of folks come in and actually shelter with us throughout this cold snap. A cold snap that will cause the shelter to open its doors Friday at 8, and they're fully prepared to go beyond. We will be open as long as the temperature is at below or around 50 degrees. So probably within the next four or five, six nights, it's still going to be open. So that there are less names read aloud at next year's vigil. At least we can care and keep their memory alive a little bit. In Fort Myers, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4. And from Lee County to Collier County, St. Matthew's House is opening its two homeless shelters tomorrow night through at least the next week as those temperatures drop. The shelters are located at the Campbell Lodge in Naples and the Immokalee Friendship House in Immokalee. They're going to be open from 8 p.m. to 5.30 in the morning. St. Matthew's House says they're going to also provide beds, blankets, snacks, and coffee, and of course, a warm place to stay. The atmosphere here is just, it's, it's inviting, you know, the, the, the people here are kind, um, you know, we, we understand uh, the, the situation and, and the, the obstacles that a lot of people are facing when they come to a place like this and really it's just as simple as, um, you know, providing help. And they shared with us when it comes to safety, guests are screened before they can enter. Other cold weather shelters opening up this weekend are the Charlotte County Homeless Coalition, which is in Port Charlotte, as well as 100 Church, which is in Northport. It's on Tamiami Trail. They're both open Friday through Sunday nights. You do need to pre-register for that Port Charlotte location. You can call the number there on your screen at 941-627-4313.